thought process of putting together the program is always for me like making a, a great meal that you want to start with your entree and then you have your main course and then you finish with your dessert and they each need to to complement one another and and thrill and excite the audience and I think that these three ballets together does that very well. Edward Liang I've known as a dancer. The first time I saw a ballet of his was actually Joffrey Ballet performing Age of Innocence and they were doing it in Washington at the Kennedy Center and I really enjoyed the ballet. I thought the part de deux work was very strong and, and dynamic and I really liked that his voice was unique. It was his own. There wasn't, it wasn't a clone of something that I'd seen before. It was a very well thought and musical and coordinated uh, piece of choreography. Mark Morris's Pacific is ballet. It was the first ballet of his I actually saw live. And I, I fell in love with the work. I loved the musicality. It seemed very uh, American contemporary dance. And I think Mark Morris in, has really become one of these landmark American choreographers and is a very important part of the dance scene of this country. I think one of the greatest things about a dancer in Mark Morris's ballets is, is, is his musicality, is the fact that you, he plays with the rhythm and he shows you as an artist the very many different ways you can hear the same sound and I think that that's very clever. I think the dancing is hard and he, he loves classical dance. You, you need the shape and the line and the purity, but it's a little bit tongue in cheek. And I think as a performer, I really love dancing those kind of ballets. And I think that the dancers have that same experience. Well, Rite of Spring for me has been on my dream list of ballets to choreograph for a very long time. I think since I was a child, uh, growing up watching Fantasia and hearing Rite of Spring, it had always been music that felt very natural and inside of me, something that I'd grown up hearing. Uh, Igor Stravinsky was the composer of the Rite of Spring. Rite of Spring became this unbelievable, uh, dynamic, rhythmic, uh, pulsing, composition in 1913 that, that the audiences just weren't used to. It is something that still sounds modern and new and dangerous. Most people when they don't understand things uh, uh, tend to dismiss them. Um, and uh, there was a riot in the theater, people throwing chairs, they, they, they thought they were being had. It provokes and I think that that's why the music was made and I think that's part of its genius. A year later in Paris, he, he gave a concert performance of the piece and, and Rite of Spring became the, the famous orchestral work that, that it currently is. So when I became a dancer and then a choreographer, that Rite of Spring was very much a piece of music that I listened to a lot and always had many ideas about. I have seen many fantastic versions of Rite of Spring and it just felt coming to the 100th anniversary and the company uh, being here as a director and a choreographer I wanted to create something that was unique for us and I really wanted to take the the concept of bringing different art forms together to make the ballet. Rosella Namuk is the Aboriginal painter from Australia who designed the two paintings that we use within the ballet. Uh, I went to an art gallery here, Nana Booker's art gallery in Houston and it was Aboriginal painting, which for me as an Australian was something that I grew up seeing and very familiar with. And I fell in love with her work. It was very unique. I couldn't really put a place to it, a time to it or a country to it. And that was kind of what I was looking for with Rite of Spring. I didn't want to make it specific to a place of origin. I wanted it to be kind of universal. And what I liked about her work was it looked like nature. I look forward to the challenges of the music with the dancers because we have worked together now for so long that the detailing that we can get is very, very high. So it's a very exciting project to be coming to.